Can I come off the app and still talk to you? Or will that not work? Can you still hear me? Ah, right, okay. Perfect. Alright. So, someone said, this is just about Celtic's performance yesterday. Good to see we've managed to carry over our performance from Will onto this game. Everything was in place and everyone played well. Still a very long way to get to the to get near Rangers. Um, some of the person said defence more confident with Sorrow in front of them. Keep this team for the rest of the season. I agree with that as well because um Sorrow did did very well. Um people are saying a lot better helps helps having a keeper that isn't afraid to make a save. Still think Eddie is offering very little, which I agree on. Um, he needs to really show what he's like. You know, forty million or you know what he's worth. Um, mm-hmm. and it was good to see um Mikey Johnson come back yesterday. Um, that was very good to see him come back. Um, someone said, good response to, to form of late, great performance, good to see the manager showing the faith in the fringe players who performed on Thursday. Um, it's basically the same, we need to gain more trust to the, the players who are signed, except from obviously. Um, I know I'm I, I don't I don't forget that but um obviously they're gonna give the obviously they're gonna give him to New Year you know so quadruple treble apart um could happen on a Sunday um I've done some ratings for the um the team yesterday um Hazard Kelly. Um, I'll just draw a wee bit with it. Kelly didn't offer much threat, but another assured performance in the youngster dealt with everything that came his way, and I'm giving Con Hazard seven yesterday. He performed very well. Um, um, Christopher Ayer um starting to look stronger as each game goes by. Alongside Julian enjoying that right side slot of the back three. As he charged forward on several occasions, and I'm giving him an eight. Um, to be honest, it's nine. He was man of the match, and he deserved it. Um, Duffy, um, better from Duffy as he handled Kabamba well. Bullet header to add the second, and I'm going to give him an eight. Um, from yesterday. Um, Julian, um, the Frenchman was getting up to speed after his recent back injury. Every long ball by Kelly was dealt with ease, and I'm giving him seven. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah. Um, Greg Taylor uh, got forward at every opportunity against his former side. Had apparently waved away in the first half. But um, it would have been soft to give that one. Um, I'm giving him a seven for that. Uh, Frimpong, um, he had a quite quiet afternoon. Um, as he wasn't involved in much as he usually is. Didn't get to the byline often though, and I'm giving him a six because you know he can perform better. Uh, Sorrow midfielder quietly went all about his business as well. He broke up play and protected the ball, um, the back four very well. I'm giving him a seven. Um, didn't perform as obviously much as Thursday night. Mm. Uh, Greg Turn, uh, Greg Turn, David Turnbull. Um, great link link up play with Edward. And his delivery was phenomenal. Find Duffy with a brilliant corner to secure the to secure the three points, and I'm giving him eight out of ten. Um, El Unice, I'm giving him by no means probably his best game, but was able to provide the moment of quality to break the deadlock, and I'm giving him seven out of ten. 
Um, Edward didn't get on the score sheet, but great all-round performance for you know, some parts of the game. From nice partnership with Turnbull with some excellent hold-up play. I'm giving him a 7. Um, like, uh, you know, people coming off the bench, you know, like Kamala, Johnson, Logic and Lax out. Um, you know, give them like a 5, 5, like 4s. You know, wins so much. I uh, also got. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Also, um, somebody said, better defensive performance today. Looked a lot more convincing, but we still need to catalyse our chances more often. And we can't underestimate the magnitude of what is up ahead of us. We're still 13 points behind Rangers. It's true. And they could, um, they're going to go 14, they could go 16 points clear at the weekend. Because we're in a cup final. So, we'll win next Wednesday because we're playing next Wednesday, 23rd against Ross County at home. But of course, you know, <laughs> um, people would say before we get beat off of Ross County, you know, it's a 5 0 win. But, <laughs> um, Celtic built on their impressive performance in midweek to defeat Um good tempo um, going forward but it's a bit rough but um, rough the first half I thought the end of the first half uh, was you know a bit dodgy but I get to him um, Mm-hmm. and I'll get him and that is going to be the end of the video for the three things I learned guys we're going to continue on the podcast but thanks for watching the three things learned and I'll speak to you next time